So in order to set yourself up for success as a real estate agent, here are eight things that you really want to do in order to fast track your career in real estate. Hey everybody, my name is Lillian Chakwezi and if you're new to the channel, welcome to the family. I drop multiple videos every single week about real estate and marketing. So if that interests you, make sure you go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. So the list that I'm about to give you guys is in no particular order, but these are some very key things that I actually wish that I would have done before I got licensed that would have really helped me jumpstart my career as a real estate agent and make sure it was smooth and easy along the way. However, the way I did things when I got into the business was differently. So this is why I'm creating this list to help you guys have a smoother process. So the first thing I'll tell you to do, whatever you do, do not quit your job because I guarantee you it'll make things harder for you once you do get started. In most cases, let me not say I guarantee you, but in most cases it'll make things a lot harder for you because you do not, you do not, you do not want to be under pressure and trying to create and start a business for yourself as a real estate agent because it does take time to get started it's like any other business you don't start any business and immediately start seeing success right away in most cases sometimes you do but most times you don't so you want to keep your job to have that cushion so you know that your bills are going to be paid you're going to have food you're going to be able to live your regular lifestyle in addition to starting to get your business off the ground as an agent if you quit your job then you'll now have all the pressure of all your bills to you know, get these deals done. And you might do things that, that go against the rules or do things unethically because you might be trying to force somebody you know, into buying a house that they don't wanna buy, selling a house that they don't wanna sell, which is never good. You never wanna be under pressure to the point where you're now desperate to make money because even having that energy in you is not going to lead you to more money. If you already have a sustainable income and you have, you're able to you know, make do with what you have, um, with whatever job that you have and you're able to add being a real estate agent on the side until that takes over your main income that is the best way to go about it because again you don't want the pressure of all your bills it becomes very very stressful and that is what I did um, and although I'm kind of used to it now I mean things are a lot better for me than before but that is how I started and of course the pressure was there you know I had to make a certain amount of income in order to continue to live the life that I was already living so again don't quit your job, that is the number one thing. And I know people get really excited about entrepreneurship and wanting to start a business. And yes, you can make the money back that you've invested into your, in your license in one deal. However, it takes time for these deals to get to the closing line. Every real estate transaction takes about three to six months on average. So you gotta think about it that way. The moment that you start talking to somebody about buying or selling a house, you may not see that deal close or you may not see that check in your bank account until about three to six months later. So, I mean, with that being said, you should already know just off of that, that you're going to need some reserves if you are going to quit your job. But I do not suggest doing that until you get to a certain point where you've either replaced your income and matched it or you've exceeded it, which is what I really suggest that you do. So learn from me and uh, don't quit your job right away. Also having your job continues to instill that discipline of having a schedule and, you know, abiding by a schedule, you know, usually you're working nine to five. You know, as an agent, you still need to be working a specific schedule in order to satisfy your clients. But, you know, basically having your job, having your nine to five, you know, after 5 p.m. that you have to dedicate the rest of your time to working as a real estate agent. Um, so it makes you absolutely maximize the time that you have and keeps you disciplined in order to work those hours. Now, whereas though, if you quit, now you basically have the whole day to do whatever you want. And even though a lot of people feel like if they didn't have a job, they'd be able to get more done. It's usually the opposite because they have so much freedom and they have no structure that they usually just end up wasting a lot of time. How do I know? I did it myself, but I learned as time went on. Um, but it did take me a good amount of time to learn to basically time block and utilize every every minute that I am dedicating towards the business and you know make it effective. Whereas though, like I said, a lot of people waste a lot of time during the day because they feel as though they have the whole day and they don't end up getting anything done. So having that structure of you know having your job there and having to maximize whatever time you have after is actually pretty important. It does tend to you know make sure you stay on top of things. And also having your benefits of your job is very helpful as well because you know you'll get your you know your medical, your dental, all that stuff covered without having to stress too much about it because obviously as a real estate agent or an entrepreneur, you usually don't have those benefits. Um, with the brokers that I'm at, AFP Realty, you do get health insurance. Um, so that is one thing, but for the most part, you do wanna continue to keep your, your benefits at your job, or you do wanna have your job in order to reap the benefits or take advantage of the benefits that they offer you. The second thing to do before you get licensed is to organize your finances and create a budget. You will have to spend money in order to get clients 
and you will have to spend money and create a budget so that you're not tapping into funds that you know you use for your bills your food and your living expenses so you will have to create a separate budget that you know that you can dedicate strictly to your business and that budget that you set you know it's a budget that you can utilize freely without it actually hurting your lifestyle or anything like that or you know you can just minimize certain things within your lifestyle to actually create that budget so at, however you got to figure it out you definitely want to set aside some money whether it be a hundred dollars or two hundred dollars whatever the case is whatever you have to allocate to growing your business because you do have to do some sort of marketing in order to generate business now for me i teach agents how to generate leads online using social media organic content marketing um, which is totally free and that's what i love about you know the things that i do to get clients so if you guys are interested make sure you check out my youtube ebook i'll leave the link down below and just follow me on my social platform because that's how you get more information on how to grow and if you're interested you can join the facebook group it's a real estate agent mastermind because that's where we're going to be talking about all the different things on how to grow your business online and you know you'll be able to connect with other individuals who are looking to do the same thing again the link will be in the description but yes you want to set aside some money in order to bring people into your business because if you don't have a marketing budget or you don't have any form of consistent marketing that you're doing you don't have a business guys plain and simple most agents do not have a marketing budget and if you can figure that out before you actually get licensed you will be ahead of the curve and you'll know exactly what to start doing and how to start doing it as soon as you do get licensed so on top of that you want to do your research and figure out what type of marketing there is out there aside from social media you can do cold calling you can do door knockers you know you can get door hangers and go you know knock on doors and put door hangers on the doorknobs um, you can do direct mail where you're sending mail out to certain lists uh, you can do text message marketing you can do social media marketing ads which is you know creating advertisements which is something that you do pay money for but the way i teach it you don't have to pay money so whatever it is you definitely want to create a budget and you also not only just for marketing but as a real estate agent there are certain dues that you have to pay in order to get your license you have to join your local realtor association board which for me is the greater philadelphia association of realtors um, you have to pay your brokerage fees um, you have to pay your mls dues like there's certain things that you have to pay in order to get your license so if you could set that money aside ahead of time um, you'll definitely be ahead of the curve and if you're looking to get more information on what it costs to actually start up to be a real estate agent and everything that's included i'll put a link to that video that i made a while ago down in the description as well so you can get more information about that the third thing that i'll recommend to do before you get your license as a real estate agent is to start studying your market guys as a real estate agent you have to be you know you're very local to your market and you have to have market knowledge because these are the people that are entrusting you to know exactly what you're talking about when it comes to a specific area that they're looking to purchase a house in so if you become your local market expert these people will start to entrust in the knowledge that you have to give them advice on what to do where to buy you know things of that nature and also showing that you have market knowledge specific to these areas will show your professionalism as a real estate agent and when people are focused on your professionalism they're not focused on whether you have a ton of experience how many years that you've been in real estate or how many deals that you've done they're focused on the knowledge and the professionalism that you are showing them and they start to immediately trust in you so you'll be the expert and people will really start to trust in your information and you'll be able to really help them when it comes to purchasing a house so if you could bring them very specific information that they don't already know just from searching through Google or whatever social media that they're searching through if you could bring them information that they don't know about they will see you as a valuable asset to their home buying journey so yeah study your market get to know your market get to know the different areas and understand what exactly is going on within real estate within those markets now the fourth thing that I really recommend that you guys do before you get your real estate license is to set up your social media accounts now you want to set up all of them and I'm not saying that you know you need to hop on all these different social media accounts and become an expert in all of them however you do want to have a, some sort of presence like you at least want to have your account set up so people know like when they look you up on social media that you are actually a real person right so you want to set up your Facebook you want to set up your Instagram you want to set up your uh, LinkedIn accounts you want to set up TikTok. you know you want to set up all these different accounts and just post one or two things um, if you don't already have it set up just so people know again that you are a real person and you do have somewhat of a presence online you obviously can't dive into every single platform all at once because it's impossible especially if you're just starting and it's only you so I would recommend at least starting up a presence on all these platforms and you know whenever you have time post on all of them or whatever every once in a while um, if you do plan on using social media as your main strategy I would suggest going hard on one platform once you do get licensed 
you know, start posting. You can post before you get licensed too and just start educating people about the market. And then once you get licensed, you can announce that you are now a real estate agent and that people can start to come to you to seek professional advice and that you can help them, you know, purchase their house. Beforehand, I would really suggest starting up all the social media accounts um, and then start to get familiar with, with whichever one that you plan to actually go in on um, if that's gonna be your main marketing strategy. So if it's gonna be Instagram, I would say start getting super, super familiar with Instagram and some different ways and techniques that you plan to actually attract clients on that platform. And so then by the time that you actually do get your license, you're ready to go. And again, putting together all your social media accounts and getting those going is really important for your personal branding because you know, at the end of the day, it's not your real estate brokerage or whatever the case is. It's your personal brand that's gonna attract people to you and that's gonna influence people to actually work with you. Your personal brand is influence. It's your way of influencing people to do business with you or do whatever you basically want them to do with you. So take it serious and you know, start building and start learning to actually build a personal brand and um, build a presence online. The next thing that I would really recommend that you do before you get licensed, as I was saying earlier, is that you need to come up with the marketing strategy that you plan to be the most consistent using um, because that is how you're gonna start to get business. So just take some time out one day, figure out what you wanna do, whether it's cold calling, social media, you don't have to get too deep into it. You can figure out what you want to actually do and start to follow people who are specializing in those areas. Like there are real estate agents who specialize in cold calling and have like the best scripts in the world and know how to figure out all the objections and handle all that. There's the other agents who specialize in social media like myself who can really teach you different strategies to attract clients to you so you don't have to chase clients. There's agents that specialize in other things such as sending mail. So you wanna figure out who does the marketing strategy that you want to and just follow them and see what they're doing and try to get an idea of you know how you can start to implement those strategies in your business once you do get to that point that you are licensed so this is just a part of like the research phase of things so you can start to get ideas and start to formulate a plan when it comes to the point that you do get your real estate license so the next thing you want to do i would recommend is to start building your sphere of influence now i would say get together a list of maybe 30, 40, and maybe 50 people that you could send a text message out to that are currently in your phone book. So, you know, look into these contacts and figure out who you want to actually work with and tell that you are now a real estate agent. And I would say, think about a general text that you plan to send these people. Like, hey, I'm a newly licensed agent. You know, I really wanna be able to work with you and whoever that you can refer me to. I really wanna start getting going in this business. I have a solid team behind me of people who are able to help me close these deals. So although I'm new, I still wanna let you know that I'm here to help. You know, something simple like that, you know, you could plan that out however you wanna say it, but just get a list together of people that you know who you can just send out this really casual text to that'll actually, you know, look at it and, and take you serious. Um, you know, this is a really simple way to get started. At least you're now exposing them to the fact that you are able to help them um, and whoever they know close out these deals because it's the fastest and easiest way to get started in the business because people already know, like, and trust you just from the, you know, relationships that you have previously built before you got into real estate. So they're most likely to trust you with, you know, a real estate transaction. So if you just get together your sphere of influence and figure out people who you actually want to exposed to the fact that you are now a real estate agent. And that'll be your easiest way to start network because a part of the career as a real estate agent is to network pretty much as much as possible. So that's your intro into the game. And the last thing that I recommend that you do before you get your real estate license is to decide on a brokerage ahead of time. Because as soon as you get your license, you want to be able to just hang your license on this brokerage and get going. Now, I say decide on a brokerage because it is very important that you take some time to do research on different brokerages. You don't wanna take all the time in the world after you get your license um, because again, once you get it, you wanna get going as fast as possible and start getting some deals under your belt. So I would recommend you do as much research as possible on different brokerages that interest you, you know, different brokerages that people have referred you to check out um, and just figure out which one you think would be the best fit. I'm specifically with eXp Realty and I tell people all the great things about it. I'll link a video down below in the description if you guys wanna learn more about the brokerage that I'm with and all the benefits that come with it. But do your own research and figure out what brokerage you think would be best for you. And in addition to you know the brokerage that I work with, I'll also link another video um, about how to choose a brokerage different questions to ask you know during the interview process so you have a better idea of what you should actually be looking for in a brokerage to make a more informed decision and like I said I'll link that video in the description down below as well so I think that was about seven or eight I think I said eight initially but I gave you seven either way I gave you a lot of good things 
um, to do before you get your real estate license. At the end of the day, what it comes down to is doing the necessary research that it takes in order to prepare yourself as best as possible to enter this game, start doing some deals, start making an impact on people and start getting your career rolling in the right direction. Because the biggest thing that make people fall off or the biggest reason that people fall off in the first place is because they are not closing deals and they're not making money. You invest so much time and money into getting your license that you really want to start reaping the benefits of it right away. And it's totally understandable. So people who stop real estate after six months or a year because they haven't done any deals, I get it, like, you know, not being able to make money right away or at least soon within a reasonable time frame after is very frustrating. But if you can set yourself up ahead of time, be committed to the process, do your research and prepare yourself for when you do get your license, I guarantee you it'll be a smoother transition and you'll be more prepared to actually start closing on deals sooner than most agents when they first get started. So obviously preparation will give you an advantage. Now, I hope this list wasn't overwhelming. If it was, definitely just choose two or three things because I guarantee you, even if you just choose one thing, it'll be in your best interest because at least that one thing will now help you when you do get started as a real estate agent. Because at the end of the day, the point is to hit the ground running and get your career going. So again, I wanna harp on the point that without marketing, you don't have a business. So if you are looking for a consistent way to generate consistent leads without having to cold call or anything like that, make sure you go ahead and check out my YouTube ebook. Again, I will link to that down in the description. And if you're interested in joining our Facebook community, I created this community to basically have, you know, create like a mastermind, have an intimate group of people um, where we can discuss different ideas to basically help ourselves grow online using social media and grow our businesses. So if that's something you're interested in, I will link that down below as well. And until the next time guys, make sure you go ahead and follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Like the video if you did like it, subscribe to the channel. And until later, stay safe and stay blessed.